It's been two months now since heavy rains flooded the southern Indian city of Chennai. I've been here in Chennai for four years, but I've never seen the city so flooded. Roads turned into rivers and thousands were left in the dark. Since uh, continuous rain, we didn't have uh, electricity at all here and uh, no water. And we were so much worried how to take care of these children. And uh, if something happens to the children, there is no possibility of taking to the doctor. We were surrounded with water everywhere. This orphanage near the city's airport is still recovering from mold thanks to all the water buildup. Because of the heavy rain here, we have a lot of stagnation of water, especially on the terrace. So due to that lot of leakage in the building, and our surrounding area is filled with water and a lot of mosquito problems. So we are uh, worried about whether the children will get malaria or dengue fever. Many slum areas were washed away, Sai the pet being one of the hardest hit areas. It was very difficult with the kids. We couldn't go anywhere for about three weeks. The water was as high as those buildings. We went to the terrace and then about 12 families stayed together during the floods. This is the Saida Pet Bridge in Chennai, full of traffic on a busy afternoon with buses, auto rickshaws and motorbikes. Now when the rains came down in December, a lot of the water here rose up and flooded the bridge, making it impossible for traffic to get across. Now in that process, it also damaged many of the slum homes here. A few months down the road, they are still rebuilding a lot of those homes that were lost. You couldn't walk here. There was water until my knees and we had major water issues. Lots of people lost their livelihood. They lost their, uh, like there's this one farmer who has 12 uh, goats. So he lost 10 of it. And then one lady who is half paralyzed, he, she lost her house. During this time, Hindus, Muslims, Christians, Sikhs and all the religion of you know, people from you know, different religions, they all came together. For the first time, I have seen that Muslims have been lodged in Hindu temples and they've been taken care of by the Hindu priests. And uh, uh, the Hindus were in the mosques and Christians were in the Gurudwaras. So people were not bothered about whether you're a Hindu or a Muslim. It was just human to human. You can go now. No. Those who had access to electricity use social media to find help and give help. Social media helped us in a bigger way. Uh, we, we sourced about uh, five tons of biryani from Hyderabad to Chennai when there was, when there was absolutely no connectivity uh, to Chennai. The airports were closed. Uh, we sent out a tweet to Indigo to sort of help us out to fly in. If not for Twitter, if not for people on Facebook, I do not think that we'd be able to source 20, food for 20,000 people. A city usually famished for water, now back on its feet after one of the worst floods in its history. Archit Tashadri, CNN, Chennai, India.